Welcome to the Bible Flex. This is Zuzu, and today I'm reading Bible stories from Miles Kelly. Today's story is called Moses in the Bulrushes. Long ago in Egypt, there lived a group of people called the Israelites. They lived peacefully among the Egyptian people where some became rich. After many years, there were a lot of Israelites people living in Egypt. The king of Egypt, or Pharaoh, wasn't happy that there were so many Israelites in his country. He thought that one day they would try to take over Egypt. Pharaoh forced the Israelites to become slaves. They had to work for the Egyptian people to build new towns and were treated harshly. But the number of Israelite people continued to grow. Pharaoh needed another plan to stop the Israelites becoming powerful. Pharaoh ordered that all Israelite baby boys were killed but the girls were allowed to live. Egyptian soldiers were sent to carry out the awful task. They marched into Israelite towns. One Israelite family had a tiny baby boy. They managed to hide him from the Pharaoh's soldiers. Shh! For three months, they were able to keep the baby boy a secret. But as he began to grow bigger and noisier, this became more difficult. One day, the baby's mother came up with a plan. She made a strong basket and coated it with tar to make it waterproof. The baby sister, Miriam, watched closely. Then they wrapped the baby in a blanket to keep him warm and put him in the basket. Then Miriam and her mother crept down to the river and placed the baby in the basket among the tall bulrushes. The little basket bobbled gently on the water. Miriam's mother returned home to stop people becoming suspicious. Miriam hid in the bulrushes and kept watch over her baby brother. After a while, Miriam saw some people approaching. It was Pharaoh's daughter and her servants. The princess had come to the river to bathe. Suddenly, the princess noted the little basket floating gently on the water. Quickly, fetch that basket, she ordered one of her servants. The servant pulled the basket from the water and gasped when she saw the little baby boy inside. He began to cry. Suddenly, Miriam appeared before the princess. Perhaps I could find someone to help look after the baby? Yes, said the princess. Find me a nurse. Miriam hurried to bring her mother to the princess. I will pay you to look after this child. He will be brought up as my son and no harm will come to him. Miriam and her mother were overjoyed. The princess named the baby Moses, which means drawn out, just as he was drawn out of the water. So as a small child, Moses stayed with his family, living safely and happily under the protection of the princess. Then one day, when he was old enough, his mother and sister took him to the Pharaoh's palace to be with the princess. Thank you for looking after him, said the princess. So Moses was brought up as an Egyptian prince. Little did he know that one day he would help to set the Israelite people free under God's guidance. The end! Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.